Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ.com, and today we're going to go over the everything you need to know to get started with our products PDQ Deploy and PDQ Inventory. I know step one you're thinking, is it going to be install the product? But no. No, step one's going to be, we want to learn a little bit about what goes into it, what we need to make it run. Uh, there are, in a later video, we're going to cover what the minimum recommendations are, but uh, you want to start low and move up with the recommendations because every environment's going to be a little bit different. So as long as you're hitting our minimum, you're fine. But if you find it's not working quite, just know you might need to bump that up. It's, it's uh, going to have quite a wide variation based on uh, your environment. Uh, the other part is the basic requirements of the systems that we have. <clears throat> and for that, it's got to be uh, any Windows 10, 11, or 8 that is still supported by Microsoft. If they drop it out of support, so do we. It might still work, but it's not technically going to be, be supported. So you're going to want those to be both your server and, or, and your... Uh, your uh, clients you're sending to. Uh, if you are using, to, uh, want to use server instead of a Windows uh, desktop operating system, it's going to be server 2012 or later. Uh, so you want those, and then you're going to need a uh, firewall configuration that allows inbound file and printer sharing exceptions. And that's because we need to have access to certain hidden shares or admin shares that are hidden with the dollar sign, as well as you have to allow ICMP exceptions. Basically, we have to be able to ping you. That's a lot of how we do the testing make it work. Uh, on the systems that you are deploying to, you're going to make sure in your environment you have PowerShell 3, which if you are on the accepted versions of Windows that we just went over, you already got PowerShell 3, so you're probably fine. And that should be everything you need to know just to see if you have the base requirements to get started.